Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Oblivion. In the last one, I had kind of oh, run into it. the problem. Hello, Asinia Aetius. If you don't mind, I'm going to get back to starting this video. In the last one, I had it's kind of- you. Hi. I'm just going to- I'm going to stand over here. I'm going to stand over here. In the last one, I had kind of run into a problem where I didn't really know how to progress. The comments on that video were very helpful, and from what I've gathered, the strat is to basically just wander around and explore. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Today I am taking inspiration from longtime friend and supporter of my channel, Des Playthroughs. Des recently started his own Oblivion playthrough, and it has been very fun and very educational to watch. One of the first things Des did in his playthrough was clear out Vil Vernon, and I thought to myself, hey, maybe I could also do that. We shall see. So we are going to get right into it, and the first thing I'm going to do is supply up a little bit for this little adventure, because thanks to Des, I know that I need more than the 82 arrows I have. Oh, here we go. Three brothers trade goods. That sounds like a store. Where's the third brother? I only see two. And, I, and, and they're gonna, it's called Two Brothers. Two Brothers. Say, you look like someone that could help us out. H having a bit of trouble with another merchant in town who goes by the name of Thorinir. Okay, um, let, let's hear all about it. He is dirty, plain and simple. I don't trust him at all. Won't even come to the merchant meetings and sets his prices so low. He undercuts everyone. Oh. If you want to give me a hand, go speak with Jen Seen at her Good as New merchandise store. She can clue you in and maybe offer some coin. Okay, where is Thorn Guy? Thor Thornier? The names. The names kill me. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this guy's name. Where um where is he located? I need cheap goods. I need goods at a discounted price. What's this? A fighting chance. I don't know, let's find out. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. Let's barter. Only quality goods for sale here. Yeah. Can I interest you For in? sure. Oh, she has so many arrows, give me some. I don't think I need 170, I think I'll take 100. I will take like a nice even 100 arrows. Yes. A bargain at any price. For sure, dude, for sure. You totally didn't just rip me off. Oh, and repair hammers. Okay, see, I now know that those are like vital, that you need to keep your equipment in tip-top shape or else it doesn't work. So I will buy 20 of those. Do I have enough gold for this? Where's my gold? Oh, yeah, I barely have enough gold. You know I what, it's make worth deal it. With just anybody. It's worth it. I'm making an investment, you see. Now we're Come getting back somewhere. And see me again. Now I'm supplied up. You too. I'm over encumbered? How? By what? What, do the hammers have weight to them? Oh, they certainly do. Okay, great, I, I didn't know that. Let's use some and see if I can get my equipment back to where it should be, huh? Look at my bow, oh, that's pathetic. You know what, maybe I didn't need all 20. <laughs> Cause one ha, okay, there we go. I was gonna say one hasn't broke yet. I thought you only got one use out of them. Look at me go, I'm increasing skills, fixing stuff. Oh, get on my level. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that took a lot of hammers. Okay, you know what? I needed to get rid of seven pounds and I used exactly seven hammers. And now I'm ready to go. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. I'm really going full circle. I'm headed back to the sewer from whence I came. Are you a mud crab? Oh, no way. I, they got you in Skyrim. That's crazy. These mud crabs are a little more uh, colorful than Skyrim's. They got a little more drip and I'm over encumbered. Yes. I'm gonna use a poison because apparently the poisons are very good in this game. What's going on? I'm still over encumbered. Well, I guess I could drop this. I don't know why I have a hand scythe on me. There we go. Okay, we good now? Okay. Where are bandits? Not to jinx myself. Oh, I found them. Stand still, stand still. You'll be fine. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. 
And I know I need to aim high. That's what the hell I'm talking about! Oh, and look, there's one all the way over there. Let's see, Hail Mary shot. Oh! Ho ho ho! Did I suddenly get really good at this game or what? Oh, look at that absolute headshot! I got him in the eye! Am I a pro gamer or am I a pro gamer? Huh? I'm over encumbered again. Oh my hell. I'm just gonna use another poison. That's a good thing to do. All right, well, I am feeling very good just because I killed both of those bandits with no problem. Over encumbered again. I have 67 tomatoes. Oh, no wonder I'm over encumbered. I didn't know I just had 67 tomatoes on me. Let's just take that down to a nice even 50. <laughs> there we go. Where the hell did I get 67 tomatoes? I don't know. Okay, anyway, let's activate this. And now I have extra power, which is always a good thing. I'm feeling very confident because I killed those two bandits with no problem. And it has given me a false sense of confidence that will probably be crushed immediately. I'm just gonna do my best to sneak and take guys out that way. Hello? Who's there? Because that extra damage boost is so ah. helpful. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. See, I knew it was gonna be immediately crushed. I knew it. Why didn't you die? Ah. There we go, okay. Four shots, that ain't, that ain't even bad. That ain't even that bad. I was just gonna say, it's pretty dark. Is there any way I can turn up the gamma? Yeah, here we go. It's almost all the way up, but I, I can't see, you know? All right, we're just gonna take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. No reason for everybody to be mad at me, you know? We're all chill. Yes, that's what the hell I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Sword boy sees me. Don't swing that sword at me, sir. <laughs> lots of swinging for hitting me once. All right, big room with lots of guys. Where are they? Where's the guys? Your presence here ah. will not be tolerated. I didn't even see you. What is that? Is that a ghost? Did he just summon a ghost? I do not like that very much, I don't think. I don't like that there's ghosts. And this guy is just like sitting over here in the corner, being such a nuisance. Oh boy. Ah! <laughs> that ghost is freaky. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Get rid of that ghost. Oh, my hell. Ghost house. Road house. Ghost road. House house. Road ghost. You know what else I'm realizing? There's uh, torches in this game. Maybe I made it a little too bright. Let's, let's knock that back down and use what the game has given me. There's torches somewhere. There's torches somewhere. Okay, there we go. I have it figured out. I got it down. Okay, there we go. Now I have a torch when I need a torch. Lily Torch, master of the torch. Finally figured it out. Ooh, and looky here. Cheeky little chest. Stay up there. Stay up there. Hmm. It seems I still have not learned how to do this. Okay. Okay, I've embarrassed myself enough on that one, I think. Oh wait, no, like my peg's gonna hit, and I was like, maybe not, and then it was like... I thought I could do that. I watched Dez do it like over and over, and he didn't have a single problem one time. But I try to do it very easy, and I just have my butt handed to me. I hate that. Also, um, that was really funny. <laughs> I didn't hate that, gotta admit, did not hate that. Let's see if I can snipe this guy. Oh, I'm falling. Oh my gosh, am I on a roll or am I on a roll? I can't lockpick, but I'll headshot the hell out of some guys. All right, Vilvernon Canocell. Canocell. I don't know, this place. Rah, 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 we'll sell this. Very easy, yeah, I'll, I won't have a, a problem. Oh, okay, I actually didn't that time. 
Okay, um, it's very hit or miss with lock picking with me right now. We'll see. Oh, why did you move? Why did you move at that exact moment? You absolute dirtbag. Take that. And take one more. There's one more for the road. Right, right, right. What's in here? A pressure plate. Yes. I love secret entrances, secret tunnels, secret passageways. Oh, sign me up. How am I over encumbered? I took arrows. Oh, these are different arrows. Dremora field arrows. Okay. I guess I'll just eat another 10 tomatoes real quick. How about? Looks like we have another pressure plate. More secrets. Mmm, scary. That's scary. I don't like that. Die, you foul beast. Die. Don't lunge at me. Ah, 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 ah. I got caught. I got caught. Don't get stuck on the pillars. Don't get stuck on the pillars. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And die. Woo! Okay. At least I'm leveling up, huh? At least I'm leveling up. All right. Another secret passageway. Passageway number three. And I'm over encumbered. Nobody's surprised. Ugh. I'll just eat another 10 tomatoes real quick. It's fine. It's fine. I actually hate tomatoes in real life, but it's fine. I hate you from my head to my toes. Ooh, look at that! That's a skeleton! Explode like you do in Skyrim! Yep, <laughs> that's what I was waiting for! I gotta admit, I am glad that I already watched a playthrough of this dungeon because I know exactly where I'm going. Thank you, Dez. Shout out, Dez. Go watch him. All right, I hear more skeletons. Bony boys. Who also saw me. Woo. I am just real quick gonna jump up and try to unlock this gate. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, is it me or is it the game? Okay, because I know this thing has to stick up there, but it's not. It's not. I've been here for so long and it's just not. <laughs> I don't know on that one. I don't know, it's out of my hands, I think. Am I gonna like have to Google how to do that or something? I feel like I might. I feel like I might have to Google how to lockpick in Oblivion. Cause it's making me feel like a straight up idiot, dude. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. All right, we're going deeper still. What's the next phase? Lay it on me. Vilvernin... Vilvernin Van Dessel. And dead. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that. I love that so much. And I think this is a trap. Yep, goodbye. Don't want to die to that. Huh? And I would love to grab these stones because I love looting more than anything, but I just, I can't keep eating tomatoes, you know? At some point, the tomatoes are gonna run out, and then what? Oh, a chest. Please be very easy. Yes, there we go. And I still have trouble with it. I'm gonna get it. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. All that for 15 gold. Was it worth it? Maybe. I don't know. I'm hearing lots of skeleton noises. It's making me a little tiny bit nervous. And now I'm locked in. Oh, okay. I remember this part. We got a little puzzle situation, people. Let's start killing guys. Love it. Love that. And door number two. What's behind door number two? Another skeleton. Hey, don't you lunge at me. You know what? I'm realizing I haven't saved since I started the video and maybe I should stop <laughs> tempting fate and actually save the game. There we go, okay. <laughs> Door number three. 
and it's nothing. Oh, it is something. He just didn't know I was here. <laughs> Door number four. Once again, he has no idea I'm here, like an absolute idiot. Take that. Door number five. Make me feel alive. Hey, 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 hey. Caught you mid-lunge, you sucker. I'm not hearing any more skeleton noises. I think that was the last guy. Which means door number six should have what I need. Yep. Chamber key. Here we go. It's a good thing I got it because there was no way I could lockpick that gate. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right. We're coming up on another door. We're going deeper still. What is it this time? Vilvernon Cell Sancramenthi. Sanc. Cremanthi. That's kind of creepy how they just stand there. It's a little freaky. At least I feel like I'm getting the aiming down a little better. I haven't missed a shot in a hot minute. And the trap's uh. wonderful. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk through it because I don't have time, you know? I am just healing. Dude, 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 all of a sudden. Guess I'm just gonna heal again real quick. I don't have enough magicka. Tell that to my weak potion of sorcery. Okay, I'm gonna wait this time. I'll be patient. And I'm also gonna grab this statue. And I'm over encumbered, excellent. What do you think of that, Mr. Blue Duck? That's quacktastic! All right, so thanks to Dez, I now know that I am walking into a boss battle. I could have made that, I got paranoid. So what I'm gonna do is save real quick. Who's ready for a boss battle? I'm not looking forward to this, but we shall see. Um. Um, oh, there he is. Okay, I was gonna say, excuse me, where is he? Oh, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because poor Dez. He spent like a long time fighting this Jalbert guy and I just killed him in like four shots. Take that. Oh, that's a mage. Pretty, yeah, he's kind of strong. <laughs> that was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought that was gonna take like a long time, be a very just laborious <laughs> task. But I killed him in four shots. Ah! Are you kidding me right now? Seriously, nobody's dying. Oh man, <laughs> my heart goes out to you, Des. I definitely had an easier time than you did on that one. Sacred Lotus, ooh. Cool, yummy, I'll take that. And a key, and some coins, ooh. Loot me up. Enchanter Bane helmet. I will take it, sure. Even though it will mean that I'm over encumbered, okay. Say goodbye to the last 15 tomatoes, those are out of here. You're out of there! You're out of there! I could probably drop all this mort flesh. That's like a good 20 pounds. I should have done that a long time ago. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now we're all good. One more cheeky little chest. Couple potions, hell yeah. And we're back at the beginning. Woo! I did it, I did it, I did it. I completed Vilvernon. I got that statue and I killed that guy. Since I absolutely flew through that dungeon, what I'm now thinking is that we will go check out this unfriendly competition side quest that I got at the beginning of the video, and we'll go uh, see if we can stir up some drama or something, you know? Stir the pot a little bit for fun. I'm gonna fast travel back to the city because it's called efficiency. Okay, hello, are you the lady? Yes, you are. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Your face is a square. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back, 
to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Nice. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinair opened his shop nearby. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. Oh, no. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. Interesting. Interesting. Like, can I talk to him or Thanks do I just have to help. start doing crime? Like, maybe he's chill. I don't know. What's his side of Hi the there. story? Hi, who are you? Eulen Athram of the Craigenmore Athrams. Made my fortune in the Flynn trade. And now I'm here in the city, living the life of ease. Good for you. Goodbye. Bye. I love these NPCs that just talk to me all the no. time. They were taken by surprise. No. I'm sure the Legion... They were taken by surprise. <laughs> Hello, are you Thornier? Oh, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Little guy trying to make a few bucks. Look at him. You're going to punish that face? Come on. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Uh, what's the deal with your inventory? Well, uh, that would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? You could. Oh, just like a baker not revealing his best recipes, I must keep my sources anonymous, or every merchant in town would use them. Okay, uh, what, Goodbye. what do I do now? Quest book, tell me. Since that little man is obviously hiding something, I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. Okay, do I just have to sit here and wait? What time do shops close? What time is it now? Oh, it's 9.30 a.m. Okay, what if I just waited for like, I don't know, 10 hours? Approximately 10 hours later. Hello again. Oh, here we go. Where are you off to, little man? What, what kind of- What do for you? Shut up, don't talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm sneaking around, okay? Stalking is like a big part of this game that I wasn't really expecting. You gotta stalk a lot of people. Pit pocket. I don't really want what to. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I was just looking. Relax. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I didn't even take anything. Uh, I guess I'll give you 25 freaking gold. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Well, you know, okay. give me a few to procedure. get some levels, and then I'll we come back and castle. kill you. First, we search you. Confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine. And we release you. Pardon? Okay. Okay. Just because I looked? You can't even look? I thought I could get away with it because you can get away with that in Skyrim as long as you don't actually take anything. Okay. <laughs> Lesson learned, I guess. I gotta catch back up with Little Man now. He's getting away. I gotta see what nefarious things he's up to. What if he does crime and I'm not there to see it, huh? What then? There goes the quest. Oh, there's the little man. He's waiting Speak. for me, Ah. Hello again. Hello. Why are you following me? Please, go away. I'm quite busy. I'm not following you. Please, I'm very busy. I'm not following you at all. Don't even, don't even say that, you know? What are you doing? Go do whatever you need to do so I can follow you. Go do crime, come on. There we go, he just needed a little push. Okay, we're, we're now going back the way we came. Um, I might have broken the quest. Uh, the Germans know how to do it. Frankly, I find the whole thing a little frustrating because I, I can't figure it out. It's frustrating, it's frustrating. Oh, oh, oh no, he was just getting on the sidewalk. <laughs> I thought he was like gonna go do a shady meeting in the graveyard or something. But I guess that's me just being optimistic, wanting something to happen. It's frustrating. Okay, here we go. Now we're going somewhere new. Take me somewhere exciting where the crime happens. Are you guys in on it together? Is this a shady meeting or what? Oh, it is. 
Go ahead. That you, Agamir? Shh! Not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry. I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. <laughs> okay. I've observed a meeting between Thornier and a mysterious man named Agramir. <laughs> Looks like my new target is Agramir. I should follow him and see where he goes. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll do that next time because I'm tired of following guys around. This was a really fun one. I feel like I'm sort of beginning to get my footing in this game, which is very refreshing. For a long time, I was just generally confused. And now I'm just a little confused. So that's nice. In the next one, we'll just continue wandering around and experiencing oblivion in all its glory. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you next time.